little while ago, you did a great series for us on millennials, and some pretty new, uh, uh, pretty interesting new information out about mm -hmm. that generation. So baby boomers are no longer the largest living generation in the U.S. Millennials have officially surpassed them. New population estimates released this month by the U.S. Census Bureau show that there are now 75.4 million millennials. That is defined by those born between the ages of, or excuse me, between the years of 1981 and 1997. Now there are 74.9 million baby boomers, the generation born between 1946 and 1964. For decades, boomers have dominated decision making in the economy, politics, and of course, culture. Boomers peaked in 1999 at 78 million. Generation X, born between 1965 and 1980, should peak right around 2018 at around 65 million. So millennials are expected to peak at 81.1 million, and that will be in 2036. The population for millennials in Minnesota is 1.5 million. Immigration is a huge factor behind this shift. Millennials now outnumber all other groups, partly due to the number of immigrants between ages 18 and 24 continuously entering the country. Meanwhile, baby boomers are aging and beginning to die out at a rate that exceeds the number of older immigrants arriving in the country. And this trend is true for here in Minnesota, too. Right now, millennials are the largest population in the state, and one in four is a person of color. It's very interesting that it's immigration driving it. I think mm -hmm. a lot of our discussion about birth trends has to do with whether people are having babies later or earlier and that kind of stuff. But the reality is most of the trends, most of the birth trends are being driven by an aging population and by immigration. You have a lot of people coming over here working or <laughs> marrying a U.S. citizen sure. and then they turn into a U.S. citizen yeah. themselves. I think it's going to be interesting to see what the legacy millennials will create, you know, and with immigration leading the way, uh, being behind the cause. I don't know. I think it's going to be interesting. But millennials, you know, we've already seen them being the most open, most tolerant when it comes to sexual orientation, when it comes to gender identity. I think that they could make huge waves in that in our society. So it's going to be interesting to see what they do. And it, the ages are 19 to 35, right? Yes, That's kind of the early millennial. 80s to early 2000s. Mm -hmm. But every study is different, so that's what's hard to decipher when you look at a lot of these numbers. One researcher will go with this age range, yeah. another researcher I will go with I have some friends who refuse to call themselves a millennial, yeah. and they're a millennial. Yeah, it's weird that it's become <laughs> a little bit of a pejorative. I don't quite yeah. understand that, you know. But, all right. I'm Own it. Proud Own to, it. Proud to say I'm a millennial. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Fine. All right.